Hi right, y'all, what up man? This your boy Maul from Maul from Mo Beach Productions. And um I'm gonna do a um uh, I'm gonna do a real quick tutorial on Reasons 3.0 again. Try to explain it a little better and show you guys um be more I'm gonna be a little more specific on you know the different racks and stuff I use. What I wanna focus in today is how to sample inside of the reasons and chop up a sample. Um first thing we do First thing I do once I I, pull, I mean I, I get the rack, and this rack here is called the NNXT, the NNXT. And what I do, I go, I hit the load sample, find out what sample I want to use. I'm gonna use this sample here. I'm actually I'm sampling a um, uh, song from uh, Andre Andre Crouch. Big big shots out to Andre Crouch. I'm a big fan, and this is how the sample sounds. All right, that's how the sample sounds. Um, I don't know if y'all could if y'all could hear it a little bit, but I uh, once we get it going up in here, I turn it up a little bit. Uh, so once I get that loaded up in here, when you first when you first put the sample in, this ball you see what I'm scrolling. This this is wide open like this, and what it is is get it allows you to uh, play it on different keys, and this is how it sounds. Let me uh, let me click on it, and this is how it sounds. You hear the difference, but what we want to do, we want to get, we want to find the melody that we want to use, and we want to put it on one key. So I go back to to the bar that I open up. I take it and I close it down, close it down to that key, and then it'll be on the one key by itself. Okay, and once we get once we get that going. I go back and I load the sample again. I got five different parts. I got the same samples in here, but I got them chopped up different ways. And um, I'm gonna go to part two. Go to the uh, go to the second part, and this is how the second sound. Then I'm gonna go to the third part. Let me see. I'm sorry, I got to find the key. Okay, there we go. And then I have the fourth part. Got the fourth part up in here somewhere. Oh, that's the fifth part. That's the fourth part. Then I got the I got my fifth part in here. Let me see. Now I know y'all might be wondering, but man, why he got uh, two of the same parts in there? The reason I, I reason I done that to just give it that choppy feel. You know what I'm saying? You hear how it's going once I play it, but I, that's the reason I've done it that way. Just to kind of give it that chop feel. And it may seem like it's a complex, complex little thing to do, I mean, to uh, work it in here prior to the MPC. The only difference is with the MPC, when you hit chop mode, it chops up, it ch the machine actually chops up the pieces. With this here, I can I can just I can kind of just hum the song in my head and just kind of hear the parts that I want to sample. I mean that I want to chop up on my own doing it manually. And this you see where I got the arrow at? This is the start. This is the beginning of the song and this is the end of the song. And what I do, I just scroll it up to where I want the sample to start at and and where I want it to end at. You know what I'm saying? So you know, like for the first part. This is like in the middle of this is almost to the end of the chorus and I got it at fifty two point I mean fifty two point three percent of that song. And I just do all the other parts the same way. And um once I got that going, this is how the sample sounds. Okay, I'm sorry. I have my drums in there. Let me just go. Let me let me speed up to the sample. Let me just let you hear the sample by itself. I'm sorry about that. I know them drums were banging, but we're gonna get to that. And you can see you you see what what the um what the samples are moving on its own on the one key on the on the on the on the individual keys. Check it out. 
So once we get that squared away and get our sample the way, once I got my sample the way I wanted to sound and chop it up the way I sound, then I move to the redrum where I got my drums at, where you heard them banging drums at. And this is a little more easier to to, uh, to work prior to the NNXT. And you know, you just pull up the file, put the drums where you want it, boom, boom, boom. And I got two kicks on this on this particular song. Then I got snare, clap, uh, hi hats, cymbal, got some tom toms, and I got an open hat. And this, once I get that all adjusted in the way I want it, this is how the drums sound on this joint. real nice little groove you know what I'm saying it's grooving so I got my drums together then I pull up another NNXT where I got my B3 organ on here now y'all like I know y'all probably saying man this dude used to organ a lot man only when I'm doing doing songs doing uh, samples with a lot of older songs kinda just like to give that older feel and I'm just like a, 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 a B3 fanatic I love to hear I love to go to the church and hear somebody to wind a B3 up and uh, this is how this sound nothing nothing spectacular got that going now I want to show you this I want to show you this attachment this attachment that I got on got on this particular rack with the B3 I mean with the B3 I got this rack here called the Scream 4 it's, called, it's actually a sound destruction unit and it makes it allows me to modify how I want the uh, the B3 to sound like if I want a distortion and all of that. But I just got I don't have no I don't have a distortion on it. I just got it where the mids are going, you know, to just give it that real Leslie uh, Leslie sound of a B. I mean, you know, but you know how you know how B3 sound with the Leslie speaker and all that. Just wanted to give it that kind of uh, feel, and then. I got another rack where I got my piano going. Got a um, got a piano going here. Oh, what that is? That's on four, and it's just you know. And I just just added the piano just to give you know a little more feel. And I got some staccato strings on, some staccato strings on here that's going. And once I get everything together, this is how the whole song sound. Well, I, I'm not gonna play the whole song. I'm just play you know part of it. But this is how it sounds. And check out the samples, how the how the um, how that rack is moving with the samples. Check it out, check it out, look at it. Man, that's basically it, man. You know what I'm saying? Let me let me turn this camera around. Let y'all see my face real quick. All right, there we go. That's basically it, man. You know, I just wanted to make sure I um, kind of just gave y'all a ran through and was a little more specific on how I chop up a sample in the reasons in that um, actually in that specific in that NNXT. That's the NNXT rack in the reasons. Uh, and you know that's how I, that's how I do my samples and stuff. I'm gonna get out of here, man. But I'm gonna send some shout out. I want to send a shout out to my man Cohex. Check out the video, bro. I hope hope is uh, do you some justice. Um, he he working on the reasons now. Hope you can get some out of it. Uh, big shout out to my man Survivor out of South Carolina. Vu Wild Child. My man Jay Johnson from out of Philly. Young Josh Israel from Everyday Process. My own group Sound Minds Music. And everybody that everybody else I forgot. Get out of here, man. But till next time. More for more beats. More for more beats productions. If you're looking for good quality music, holler at your boy.